below. The bat, the bird, and the fly. What do these organisms have in common? Well, if you guess that they all have wings to fly, then you're correct. Are they closely related? Well, they are related, but not very closely. Certainly not as closely as a human is to a champi, chimp, chimpanzee, or as a zebra and a giraffe are related. But then, what makes these organisms important? In this lesson, we're going to learn what it means to have an analogous structure. We're going to give an example, and we're going to discuss why these structures are important to understanding evolution. First, an analogous structure, as opposed to a homologous structure, so put opposite, are anatomically different. But what does that mean? Well, if we were to compare the wing of a bat or a bird or that of a fly or a butterfly perhaps, these wings would be made of, def of very different internal parts. So their parts are different. One is made of bone and the other is made of maybe more pliable connective tissue and proteins. These organisms' wings are analogous because although they have different anatomies, okay, their functionality or their physiology is similar. So they have similar purpose. Okay. For example, they can all fly. So why are these structures important? Analogous structures are noticed as part of what's commonly um, deemed among scientists convergent evolution. When two roads converge, they come together. Same thing here. In biological terms, convergent evolution states that although certain populations of organisms have very distant common ancestors, they may still evolve to employ similar traits due to a similar adaptation in their environment. So it's important to remember the difference between analogous structures and homologous structures. Analogous structures are anatomically different, whereas homologous structures are anatomically similar, such as the bones in a whale flipper and a human arm. However, analogous structures have similar purpose. They all fly or they all use these structures to walk or for the immune system or whatnot. And in homologous structures, they have different purposes. Okay. So it's going to be important to remember those, those two structures and their definitions. Good luck.